Um, can I get a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit? On a long and lonesome highway west of Omaha, can't listen to the engine roaring out his one long song. Good time of year. All those fair weather campers aren't here. Okay, here I am trying out uh, the carnival. Yeah. I put a screen on this window. And uh, my heater and controller coming out of that window. And yeah, I got a place to sit. I don't have a backrest or anything. Um, it's nice to be able to get in your car. It's kind of cold out. And uh, I kind of shoved everything in the front seat. Um, there is a real issue with uh, <laughs> um, really managing your space well that I'm just going to have to learn more about. But I got all my panels ready to go in the windows. So I got a couple hours before dark and uh, not much of a cell phone signal. So uh, yeah, I will have to figure out some other ways to entertain myself today. It's just, yeah, go for a walk. I didn't bring a fishing pole. I could take my bike out again, but it's still, what is it? Best day out camping is still beats the best day out at work. So. <laughs> Well, quick walk around the lake. Time to turn in for the night. Pretty tired because I don't have Wi Fi. <laughs> Not much else to do. Well, good morning. Slept pretty well. One thing I learned uh, about Kia Carnival and camping is that. All the lights go on when you try to open the door in the middle of the night. <laughs> uh, your running lights and yeah, at least it doesn't sound a horn, but if you lock yourself in and you decide to try to pull the lock to let yourself out, the alarm goes off. So I imagine the guys camping around me uh, really appreciate me this morning. So. Don't do what I do. <laughs> and let's get some coffee going. The 
adjusting out the sound of the heater. And not too bad. That's full blast. Well, I've learned all I can learn from one camping trip. Um, Compared to a teardrop, I am more comfortable inside where you can actually sit up and the teardrop you could barely sit up and change or anything. So I'm glad I'm going this route. All right, here's the realism of staying overnight in a car. Um, a little messy, not too bad. I will need to bring a vacuum. <laughs> yeah, or maybe put a smooth floor. Uh, another thing I forgot about when I got here was the flies. So I ran into town and I just picked up some screen and some gaffer's tape. And uh, so the gaffer's tape would be a easy release tape. And uh, won't do damage. So that's how I made a screen. I also added a hitch. You can see online of how to do it. I just used one of those videos. It was really easy and I did most of it myself with my wife, helped uh, a little bit, but I got it done in probably half an hour. So don't be too intimidating of putting on your own hitch. The wiring harness is really simple. Um, Boy, there certainly isn't much clearance. Not what I was expecting, but it does have more clearance than any of the other minivans. It's one of the reasons why I bought it. So I'm wondering if I can't get a lift kit someday. Anybody else do anything like that? Let me know.